Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, this is another how to. Um, so we've got a Peugeot Expert van come in, same as dispatch. Um, C1203 error code, jamming of the mechanical electro pump, major fault. Um, so obviously I've done my homework, done the research on the internet. I can't find anything or anyone who's covered this. Um, so we've had it in, it's basically Steering just went really heavy, stop sign come on saying stop, power steering malfunction, faulty. Uh, it's a brand new pump uh, from ASC, um, I think it was. Uh, put it on, still nothing. Um, so we've done a voltage check, which obviously we did that in the first place. Um, check the voltage at the pump before ordering a new one. Everything seemed all good. Um, we've also checked all the wiring through here so basically you've got your, your signal wires which are these wires here coming up from the pump you got blue and white twisted there you can signal wires the single blue thin one that one there that's your ignition live so the can wires they come up T here obviously then they go to the green and white twist which goes into the ECU from that T they go down to the ABS pump which is just underneath the ECU there. Um, so we've obviously we've done a resistance and continuity test throughout that, that's all fine. Um, so basically, last night we had it all plugged in and while it was all plugged in, because obviously the power steering pump is underneath here, up there, pass on your side, we probed, oh, sorry, we probed this big plug while it was in. Uh, ground was, you know, as best as you can get it. When we probed this power, with it plugged in, it was getting 1.4 volts. Um, so we traced it all through, and if you look down here, you can see right here, it's rubbed through on the power steering pipe. Heavy duty, um, high pressure one. Um, so obviously it's out there. It hasn't blown the fuse, which is odd, but that's where our problem is. So, guys, if you are getting that error code, sorry about the focus, guys. Um, for replacing any expensive parts, make sure you test and check the wiring. Um, I'm open. this will save you quite a lot of money. Um, like I say, I look on the internet for any advice I can find if I'm ever unsure of stuff because let's face it guys, we don't know, all know everything. Um, but if I do come across something that I've not been able to find on the internet, I'll put it back out there for you guys to do the same hopefully. So yeah, Peugeot, Citroen, check your wiring guys, might save you a fortune. So we're just um, pulling it out now just to see truly how bad it is. And as you can see, that has been corroding for some time now. So look at the strands, just a few little strands left. So I'm gonna cut this out and replace it with a new cable. Uh, hope this it helps though, guys. Um, hope you sort it out, because obviously 450 quid for a new pump, when it's not the pump, is a lot of money to be spending. So. We've um, chopped it out now. As you can see, she's been corroding for a good while. So we're gonna bear this back now. 20 gauge cable, bear it back. So we've got a good two inches of decent copper. Uh, we've got some more 20 gauge cable here. We're gonna do a repair with uh, full solder so we don't get no high resistant joints and then run it straight back to this plug and rather than run it around <coughs> through there, where it's sharp on the subframe there, and that's what's caused it, uh, which is gonna come straight over here, straight up to the pump, which is up there. Um, so it's not gonna be too tight either. <coughs> so remember guys, check this wiring, because it does seem like it's gonna be a common fault with these. <coughs> 